All right, we want to welcome in Warren East Raiders, Coach Griff. Uh, welcome to Media Day, Coach. If you would introduce your players, please. Uh, this is senior Seth Blaine. To my right and to my left is uh, senior Nolan Ford. Kick it off and uh, kind of tell us how you've been uh, navigating uh, the last several weeks of warning. Well, I mean, it's just been uh, a lot of conditioning and stuff and following new protocols that we've got to follow uh, to just to hopefully get to a point where we can start practice here in a little over a week, and that's the hope. And as long as we uh, – I think if we'll do our part, and I think everyone has, and I think everyone across the state of Kentucky, hopefully we'll get to see some football here in about a month. Well, you know, they've already really voted on everything that they're going to do. I would be surprised if uh, I would be surprised if things change, even with the government's uh, the governor's uh, recommendation. I think that uh, you know, I think with the KHSA, I think that'll go through. You know, at least that's our hope. And I've not heard anything one way or the other. But you know, they've already had their big meeting to push that through, and I'm th hoping that uh, you know this is just a formality next Thursday. I have no idea at this point. I, I think that we're doing a hybrid thing, but honestly, I, I think that it's it's still got to go before our school board, what I understood from yesterday, so I really don't know. No? I thought you graduated last year. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Just talk a little bit about the team this season and how much you're looking forward to getting on the field. And tell us what you like about this program this year. Um, this year, I think our skill guys are going to be – we're going to be older and we're going to be more mature, and I think we're going to – firing all cylinders starting out. And so I think we're going to come out firing this season and looking forward to it. Um, I'd like to I'd agree with Nolan. Uh, we are going to be old in some spots. We're also going to be young in some spots. It's going to be the older guys' uh, job to get those younger guys ready to play. We don't have a lot of time between uh, practices and in our first game. So can't, can't really waste any time. We just got to get right into it and get going. Um, I mean, with all this going on and missing last year baseball season and just like the chance that we might not have one, I think everybody just wants to get out on the field and start already. So, yeah, it's uh, it's easy to get cold feet, you know. Uh, like Coach Griff was saying, we've been doing a lot of conditioning. Uh, we really want to get out there. We're just doing everything we can, following those guidelines to get out there and have a senior season and uh, play ball. Uh, it really sucked, so um, <laughs> trying to take precautions like wearing a mask and all that, just hopefully we get to have one because I already know what it's like to miss that, even though it was just my junior year, and hopefully I have another one, but it sucks seeing all the seniors go through it already, and I'd hate to, that to happen for us and all the other seniors. Uh, me personally, I'm not uh, Coach Christian preaching at practice. You know, he said that he talked to some people on the board that uh, they're going to try and keep uh, pushing for football. You know, uh, that's what they said uh, a few weeks back. I don't remember exactly when that meeting was, but we want to play football, and that's uh, I think that's what we're going to try and do, no matter what. Well, we're excited to get started just to hopefully get to play some football. There's been you know, so much negativity around a lot of sports getting canceled from the spring and then through the summer and everything. So we're excited to get it. I'm excited about this football team for a, for a few reasons. First of all, we have a very small senior class, but it's a senior class that's got uh, – you know, four or five guys that have played a ton over the last three years. You know, you're talking about Seth Blaine, that will be that be his fourth year starting as a tight end. You're talking about Nolan Ford, that started most of, over six or seven games as a freshman. I mean, Nolan's a guy that is, is kind of a 
you know, it's, he's, he's quiet in some ways around here, but he's a guy that going into his senior year, he's already, you know, responsible for 5,000 yards of offense and 55 touchdowns. And, of course, I want to remind Coach Hood that he also kicked a field goal beat him when he was a sophomore. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, it's a guy that's going into his senior year has already got tremendous numbers and has, has uh, led our football team offensively. For us to be a better football team this year, we've got to shore up some things defensively. You know, we, you know we've had a ton of time to go through last year. Many times I've, I've told our coaches, I'm, I'm tired of talking about the, the what ifs from last year. We've got to clean some things up defensively. We were horrible on third and fourth and longs and gave up touchdowns in crucial situations. Uh, offensively, we need to uh, have more consistency than we had last year. There were times last year offensively I thought that we were that, that we were moving along pretty well, and then we would get very inconsistent and, and just have breakdowns. And But I think the biggest uh, thing that we've got to get better is our kicking game. Uh, we've got to get better at covering kickoffs. Uh, last year was the first year since I've been at Warren East that we didn't return a kickoff in the kicking game. We didn't return a punt in the kicking game. You know, those are things that at, at we've done the my previous three years or two years prior to that where, you know, we, we usually did a pretty good job in the kicking game, and it changed the game for us in, in a lot of our, our wins. And last year in those losses, we didn't have those plays. You know, we, we had a lot of problems with, I mean, just extra points. I mean, we, we lost our last – two football games last year, the last regular season game at Davis County, 28-27. Uh, to 27. We lost at Allen County Scottsville in the playoff, first round playoff game, 27-25. to 25. You know, we got bad snaps, we got bad kicks, we got bad holds, we got bad protections, and we lost two games by three total points. And it's because of those little things. You know, there's a lot of things that go into a football game, but you're talking about extra points that essentially cost us. So those are things that we've got to improve on, I think, for us to take a step forward. Uh, I like the leadership of our team, although it is a small senior class of uh, nine guys, I think. Uh, but we have a lot, we're going to be young in some ways, but I like the talent of our younger guys. We just got to get them some experience. Nolan, what, what would you say um, has developed the most on you since you started this quarterback over the years, besides obviously confidence? Um, definitely learning a lot more because experience helps so much. Reading the defenses and opening the playbook more and being able to do more passing and running. So just learning more about the game, I feel like. No, we won't really have a lot of changes in terms of our the schemes that we're going to be running. Uh, obviously, these two guys are going to be big <coughs> factors, uh, especially Seth on both sides of the football. Nolan may even see some some time on the defensive side. You know, we return our leading receiver and uh, Deshaun Gilbert. You know, he's a, is also a really good defensive player. Return a starting running back in KJ Alexander, uh, who is a very good player, and we'll probably see some on the defensive side this year as well. Uh, young guys that come along, I mean, we're, you're honestly, I don't, I don't even know who they are, other than you know we've got Simon Gee, who's going to be a sophomore that started every game as a defensive end last year as a freshman, and uh, you know he's already got a Division One offer from Eastern Kentucky. So, you know, we have some young, talented guys. And uh, the unfortunate thing is that a lot of those guys are going to be sophomores. You know, we'll probably start seven or eight sophomores and maybe even a couple of freshmen. And it's happened every year that I've been at East. Ultimately, there'll be one or two freshmen that end up starting varsity. And that's usually not a good combination. Uh, you know, these guys will tell you that it probably, while it sounds exciting to start varsity games as a freshman, when you actually get out there and doing it and you're playing against juniors and seniors that have that are, have been in a weight program for three, two and three years, you know, sometimes you can get a little overwhelmed physically. But uh, I do like the talent of those younger guys. We've just got to get them coached up and, uh, you know, get them some experience. Does it, does it make it harder to get coached up and get that experience now with, like, all the Oh, there, there's no question about that. I mean, the, you know, we – from a physical standpoint, especially especially for those guys that were going to be sophomores, uh, they needed the weight program as much as anything. And when we went home in March and really didn't 
haven't haven't been in a weight room since, you know, for any stretch of the imagination. I think it's really going to have an impact on those guys. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things where everyone has been dealing with the same problems. It's not like suddenly, you know, that, it's not like Warren East was the only school that couldn't get in a weight room. It was everybody in the state and all, all over the country. Well, I think under the circumstances, uh, you know, there was a couple of thought processes that went into that. And, you know, I wanted to give our seniors an opportunity to play as many games we can under the circumstances that, you know, of the pandemic that we're dealing with. So I didn't want to be stuck with just eight games and for some reason maybe one or two of them get canceled. Then all of a sudden we're dealing with maybe five or six. So I wanted to max out our, uh, you know, allotment of games and we were fortunate to do that. So we have uh, nine games scheduled and hopefully we'll get to play them all. And if we get to play all nine games and then we go right into the playoffs, you know, it won't be a, you know, missing one game's not bad. You miss four or five games and half your season or all of it, you know, that, that would be, you know, devastating to, to, you know, anybody that's a senior. And it's, it's even detrimental, especially detrimental to those guys that have, a, you know, desires to even to play at the college level. How many seniors are we looking at, Coach? Uh, I believe we got uh, 10 seniors. Uh, like, um, we're, we're different in some ways than we were last year in my previous years, but uh, I think we're really coachable and we're really into it. You know, the guys that are there, they want to be there. I know that when they show up, they're going to work hard. We're, we're going to work hard. We're going to we're gonna get ready for our games, and uh, that that's pretty much the big thing for me. Norm, are you the same way? Yes, I agree with him. Awesome. Tell Hood to be nice to me. I only fired one barb at him. Yes, make sure you say that. Remind him that not only is Nolan Ford, you know, got 5,000 yards of total offense coming into a senior and 55 touchdown, he kicked a field goal to beat Allen County. 